Well, we begin tonight with the return to school, a new concern from districts about the limited options they will face this year in battling COVID-19 outbreaks. Thank you so much for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Now, traditionally, Michigan schools are required to offer at least 180 days and 1,098 hours of in-school instruction. But because of the pandemic, last year, state lawmakers gave districts maximum flexibility to meet those requirements by a allowing virtual learning. However, this year is back to basics, and if schools want full funding, they better have students in the classroom. But with rising case rates, that has some people concerned. The state is reporting more than 3,800 new cases over a three-day period. That's an average of just under 1,300 new cases a day. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo has a look at what this all means if schools are forced to get creative once again. Last year, schools had the option of doing hybrid learning for social distancing, or if COVID-19 cases got high, moving in-person programs to virtual learning. This year, if schools want full funding, that's not an option. And some school leaders are asking what the consequences will be. When I think about a traditional in-person classroom setting, uh, to me, that seems like an extraordinary disaster waiting to happen. Warren Consolidated School Superintendent Robert Livernoy says last year the district offered hybrid learning for social distancing. This year, hybrid isn't an option. Switching in-person to virtual is not an option. And if someone gets sick, close contacts will have to quarantine. He's worried about the learning loss of students who have to quarantine and student health. That's why yesterday the district announced it would require masks. One of my core values is to protect them. Um, it, it just feels like the right thing to do. The risk from dying is, is, is so um, small as compared to the, the impact that it has, you know, the detrimental impact that wearing a mask every day in school has emotionally for students. State Representative Pamela Hornberger, a Republican from Chesterfield Township, is the chair of the State House Education Committee. The former teacher says the legislature is sending a message by requiring full-time in-person learning programs be offered if schools want full funding. We need kids going back to school. We need to get as back to a normal pre-pandemic uh, education system a as we can. I 100% think schools should have that flexibility. I firmly believe that we in the legislature need to give our school districts local control here. Also a former teacher and member of the Education Committee, Democrat State Representative Matt Colazar says schools should be able to plan to go virtual if cases get high. Education advocates say now is the time to prepare. If a local health department, for example, were to say that school needs to shut down because of the transmission rates, what is a school supposed to do? It'd be nice to have those answers ahead of time. It's not something we haven't dealt with before and that we can't deal with in the future. School leaders say they hope if there are issues that state leaders take action quickly to give them flexibility. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim.